Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate Salesforce lead directly from email. Here, my objective is that whenever a team member is going to send me the email related to the details of a lead, I want to use the same details in order to create a new lead in my Salesforce CRM account. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of an amazing automation and integration software, Pabli Connect. Now here we have email parser in our trigger through which we are going to fetch out the emails from our Gmail account and then we have Salesforce in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically create Salesforce leads from the email receipt. So here my objective is that whenever my team member is going to send me the details of a lead through email, automatically by using that same details, I want to create a new lead in Salesforce. Okay, so for creating this automation, we are going to set up a simple integration between Gmail and Salesforce and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. As I have two folders here in this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly on this dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option, which is given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Create sales lead from email. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder. And now we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, in any workflow, we can have only one trigger, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here we are going to take email parser through which we are going to connect our Gmail account with Pabli Connect in trigger and we are going to take Salesforce in our action and we want that as soon as our team member is going to send us an email and the email is captured here in Pabli Connect, automatically by using the details of that email, a lead should be created in Salesforce. Here we can find that our action is a response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means when the email is received, then only the lead is created in Salesforce, otherwise not. Okay. So after understanding this concept, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and in order to connect our Gmail account with Pabli Connect, we are going to use email parser. So with the help of email parser, we are going to capture the email responses from Gmail towards Pabli Connect. Okay. And here we can find that an email hook is provided to us. So we are going to attach this email hook with our Gmail account and then we are going to receive the response of all of our emails over here. Okay. So first of all, we'll copy the email hook and then I'm going to take you towards my Gmail account. Okay, so this is my Gmail account. Here we have to go towards settings option and then we have to click on see all settings. Okay, after coming here, we have to click on this forwarding and POP IMAP. After coming here, we can find the option of add a forwarding address. We will click on it and here we will paste the email hook which we have copied from Pabli Connect. Okay, let's click on next. And now we will give the permission to proceed. A confirmation link has been sent on this particular email hook. We will click on OK and then we will go back towards Pabli Connect. And yes, here we can find that a confirmation email is received to us. Now here we have to go towards the body of this email. So this is the body text. OK, so here in the body, we have received a URL which we need to copy. So this is the URL. Let me copy it till now. And now I'm going to open it in a new tab. OK, in the same manner, you need to find out the URL from the confirmation email and then you have to open it in a new tab. And here we have to click on confirm to confirm forwarding of emails on this particular email hook. OK, so as we have clicked on confirm, now it is saying you may now forward mail to this particular email hook. Now, once again, I'm going to take you towards my Gmail account. Now, here we have to do one more thing. We have to click on this. We have to enable forwarding a copy of incoming email to this particular email email hook okay so we will click on this forward a copy button and here we will click on save changes 
Done. After doing this, we will go back towards Fably Connect and we will click on Recapture Email Parser Response. Now it is showing waiting for response. What does this mean? This means that now we have to do a test submission by sending an email towards the Gmail account which we have recently connected with Paply Connect. So I'm going to open a new email ID and here I'm going to compose an email. So my objective is that whenever my team member is going to send me the details of a lead, I want to use the same details in order to create a new lead in Salesforce. Okay, basically I want to add the same lead in Salesforce. So here I'm going to enter my own email address and the subject of this email will be new lead. Now I'm going to compose an email here. So this is the email body. Hello, please add this lead in Salesforce. Here are the details, first name, last name, email, as well as the company name. And now I'm going to send this email from the team members email ID towards my email ID. Let me click on send and I'm going to open my Gmail account. And here we can find that yes, we have received the response over here. This is the email which we have received. So let's go back towards Fably Connect. And yes, we can find that here also we have received the same response of the email. Okay. So now what we are going to do, we are going to move forward. By using this response, I want to create new lead in Salesforce. So we will move forward towards now. But before moving forward here, we have to apply a condition. As we all know that we receive multiple emails on our Gmail account. I do not want to use each and every email response in this workflow. Therefore, I'm going to set a condition over here by applying filter. So I will simply add one more action step over here and here in the action application, I'm going to use filter. Filter is the feature by Pabli which allows us to set conditions in our workflow according to our requirements. Okay. In the action event, we will select filter values and here and we will click on connect. As we do that here, the filter is connected. Now we have to set the condition over here. So I want to set the condition that when I will receive the email from a particular name or from a particular email address, then only I want to continue this workflow. Otherwise not in the select label. So I'm going to select the name of the team member from which I have received the email right now. So if the email will contain this particular name, that is Ashirai. Then the workflow should continue. So the condition will be that if the display name will be equal to Ashirai, I want to continue this workflow. Okay, we will check the condition by clicking on save and send test request button. And here we have received the response and the condition is true. Okay, so because we have received the email from this particular name, here our condition is true. But in case if the email will be received from another name, then this workflow will stop here only. Okay, now after applying the filter, let's move forward. And now what we are going to do in order to create the lead in our Salesforce account, we are going to fetch out the details from the email from which we want to create the lead. So here we can find that in the body of the email which we have received, here are all the details related to the lead, but in the combined format. So we need to separate these fields one by one so that we can use them for creating the lead. Okay. And in order to separate them here, I'm going to use another feature by Pabli that is text formatter. Text formatter allows us to format the text according to our choice. Let's select text formatter over here. And now we are going to select the action event as text parser. So with the help of text parser, we are going to fetch out the details from our email body. Okay, let's click on connect. And after building the connection here, we need to enter the details. First of all, it is asking us what text you want to parse. So we want to parse the text which we have already received from email parser and that is body. So we will simply map the body of the email here in this field. What is mapping? Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details related to that. So we want body of the text. We will simply type body here and it has redirected us towards the body text. So we will select it and it is mapped. Now when we have mapped this data, it has become dynamic and now it is going to change. That means it is going to replace with each and every response. So now whenever a new email will be received from our team member, automatically the body text here will be replaced with a new body text of that new email. But in case if we will enter it manually by copy and pasting, then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Okay. So therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we use mapping. Now after mapping the text here, it is asking us text match after and the text match before. Okay, what text we want? First of all, we want the first name and the first name is given after this first name colon. So here my text match will be first name colon and then here we can find that text match before. So the test that is the first name is given before last name colon. So here I'm going to enter the same last name colon and now we are going to click on save and send test request and in the response here we can find that the name is split and here is the first name. Okay. In the same manner, we are going to parse all the details. The next is the last name. Then we will fetch out the email and at last the company. Okay. So let's click on this add action step button. And once again, I'm going to select text formatter as my action application. Text parser will be the action event. Let's click on connect. And now once again, we are going to map the body of the text. And now this time I want to fetch out the last name. So here last name is given after last name colon and it is given before email. So here I'm going to enter email colon. 
okay done click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response this is the last name once again we are going to add one more action step we will select text formatter and we will select text parser as our action event let's click on connect once again we are going to map the body of the text and this time we want the email email is given after email and before the company name okay so we have entered it now let's click on save and send test request button and here this is the email but once again now we are going to fetch out the company name let's click on this add action step button we will select the text formatter and we will select the action event as text parser let's click on connect and here we need to map the body and because this time we want the company and the company name is given after company so let us so let us enter company colon and it is given before regards so i have entered it okay let's click on save and send test request and here we have received the response and in the response we have received the company name in the same manner you have to fetch out the details from your email body okay now when we have fetched out the details by using text parser let's click on this add action step button and finally we are going to create the lead in salesforce so we will select salesforce in our action application and now we are going to select our action event that is creating a lead okay let's select create lead and we will click on connect Let's select add new connection to build a new connection with Salesforce account. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. We will click on connect with Salesforce. And now Public Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Salesforce account. We will click on allow as it is 100% safe. As we have done that, our authorization has become successful and now we will move forward in order to enter the details in these fields so that we can create a lead. First of all, it is asking us the last name. We have already fetched out the last name from text formatter. So we will simply map the data over here. This is the last name, lead. The next is the first name. So let us map the first name also, test lead. The title, if you want to assign a particular title to your lead, you can add it over here. The next is the company name. We have also fetched out the company name. This is the name of the company. We have not received the phone number in our response of email. So we are going to ignore this field. The next is the email. This is the email which we have mapped. Now we will move towards the lead source. Okay, so from what source you have receive the lead i am going to enter other over here okay and now we will simply click on save and send test request button and as we have done that here we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received the id and let's go and check on salesforce whether a new lead is created there or not so so we will refresh the page once and we can find that yes automatically a new lead is created over here with the company name as abcy so let me open this and here are all the details the email is also given over here this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between gmail and salesforce so now so now whenever we are going to receive an email from our team member automatically by using the details of that same email a lead is going to be created in salesforce okay so let's go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow so we have taken seven simple steps over here trigger and six action in trigger we have taken email parser and in action we have taken filter by pabli text formatter by pabli as well as salesforce and we have connected all of them by using pabli connect in such a way that now whenever new email will be received from our gmail account in pabli connect automatically because we have applied a condition over here that if the email will be captured from a particular email address or from a particular name then the workflow is going to continue and if the condition will be true then automatically by using the details of that email a new lead will be created in salesforce okay so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.